guys, this is Jaxi99 and by my reaction, yes, you can tell I am pissed, I'm angry, I'm upset. Um, not really upset, but I'm pissed. Um, it has ended at Ibrox and I've took longer to do a match reaction, I do apologise about that, but make sure to like and subscribe and yes, it has finished at Ibrox Rangers 4. Hibernian nil and Hibernian dropped to ninth in the league. Um, now, as you can probably base off the title, yes, bunch of imposters because they are. Um, Paul Hanlon, and I'm sorry, Paul Hanlon. I'm sure every Hibs fan will be saying the same because I've seen the comments and I agree with every single Hibs fan right now. I do. I really, really do. I do. Paul Hanlon, I'm sorry, is finished. How Riley Harbottle isn't first choice and steady that old man um, is because he is Paul Allen's old he's at the end of his career always has been for the past four years he has he's not been that good I'm sorry um, what Hibs need today is look at the team and say all the players that are out of contract, 2020 fucking four, you, 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 out. No fucking questions asked because there's fucking still the same players in that fucking hip squad that got the past three fucking managers sat still fucking there. Why? Because hips are too soft. They've still got them. I'm a bit pissed that Hanlon's getting started all of a sudden again. Jojo. The goalkeeper that is now back to full fitness. Has he got a first team chance yet? Yeah, we've seen Alex Boric. Yeah, we've seen David Boren Marshall. Oi, the Hibs fans, I agree. Retire Marshall. Yes, please do. Because he's finished for me. So is Hanlon. So is Stevenson. Ellie Johan. Fucking shite. Uh, and... Yes, I have to agree with my dad on this one. Martin Boyle was exactly the same. He wasn't there. He wasn't showing any performance levels. Martin Boyle, Martin Boyle, El Johan. Where the fuck were they? Where were they? They were nowhere in that fucking team. Nowhere. It's an embarrassment. Yeah, and I'm sorry, I will agree with my dad. And I will agree with my dad's neighbour. Bunch of fucking imposters because they are. It's the same fucking players that are in that fucking squad that have got the previous three managers out the door. Defence is pathetic. And hasn't he been looked at in the past four years? It's the same defence over the past four years. It's never fucking changed. Um. The midfield, where was the midfield at Ibrox? It was fucking nowhere. Jago he was like a heedless chicken. He didn't know what the fuck he was doing. Eli Johan was just fucking terrible. And this dribble, dribble and footwork trick with the ball. Fucking get up the fucking park. Be where you're meant to be. Instead of standing there like a fucking twat. Taking ages and friggin' and the less time spent on bloody changing his hairstyle every bloody Hibs game that there is. He's got a different hairstyle every day. Like, when he should be on the field trying to fucking work out what the fuck he's doing wrong and why the fans keep booing him. I know why the fans keep booing him because fucking, you can He's no the player he was last season. Like, Johan is just, he was dreadful on Saturday so was Boyle, and so was um, Rocky Bashiri, so was Paul Hanlon, so was David Marshall. 
Uh, the ref was fucking disgrace. The second Rangers goal should have been called off because the uh, Rangers boy kicked friggin' Joe Newell up in the air. Every right to be angry. How that wasn't fucking ruled off, I don't know. Our performance levels were weak. We weren't very attacking. We had the chance to preferably beat Rangers. Rangers were beatable, but Hibs, as usual, didn't put the chances away. The only players that had a good game yesterday, and I will be fucking honest, was Lewis Miller, Dylan Levitt, Rory Whitaker, um... Who else? Um, that's the fucking question. Who else? Dylan Venti, he was good. And so was Adam LaFondre. Tried to do his best to get the balls in, but nobody was there. So Adam LaFondre is doing all that fucking work. Dylan Venti is doing everything to try and get the ball in the back of the net. There's nobody to help him, nobody to support him. But yes, yeah, Dylan Levitt came on, the midfield came alive, but... Rangers still broke us doing it. it was too late. It was too late. But yeah, guys, like I say, the Hibs team is a bunch of imposters. The defence needs fucking looked at. Hard bottle better get a start on Saturday and Hanlon permanently dropped. David Marshall permanently dropped. And like my dad says, all the friggin' hips players that keep thinking they're going to get a fucking chance need to get dropped. I'm sorry. That defence needs fucking looked at. Doesn't get looked at, I am sorry. We're going to concede more and more goals. And do us hips fans want that? Is it going to be Easter Road empty and out at the 60th minute because we're nearly 4 or 5 nil down? But... It upsets me when that happens at Easter Road. We're playing the old firm and then Easter Road empties out. Bang on. When we're getting scalped, hammered off the old firm. And we'll never be able to compete with the old firm if we're not going to fucking just put on a performance. Yeah, we gave the old firm a good game, but at Ibrox we were shit. That's the worst Hibs performance I've seen under the old firm. Especially at Ibrox, no offence, but terrible. And how Hibs are going to bounce back for a 4-0 hammer in the Ibrox, I don't know. In defence, I don't want to see Hanlon. Because he's going to cost us a fucking beauty against Celtic. Because he always does. Does he know what he's doing? He can't even keep up with any of the players nowadays. In the league. Because he's too old. He's outpaced. Tires easily. When he runs the length of his cell. Paul Hanlon's passed it. Lewis Stevenson's passed it. David Marshall has passed it. Couldn't even make a save to save his life. Will Fish, he was also shit. Um, to me, Will Fish, I'm sorry. Just go back to Man United. You're no wanted at Hibs, in my opinion. Uh, because he's not really improved at all um, and it's a shame because he done well last season but this season he's just not settled in and done amazing but he might learn from his mistakes and he might actually fucking go for it and might actually do better as the season progresses um, and, I'm, and I do trust Nick Montgomery he will Improve the Hibs squad as it goes. And yes, he's only been in the job for five weeks, but it's not the manager to blame. But I believe in him. And 4 4 2 is working. It's just how we're going to try and improve as the season goes. Bearing in mind, we've got the January transfer window on the horizon as well. Who Nick Montgomery will bring in. A definitely a new centre back, an attacking midfielder, defensive midfielder, you name it. And just try and really bolster the squad a wee bit. That will do us for the other half of the season as well. And see how we get on throughout leading up to that. But yeah guys I was disappointed. And I will always be disappointed when we don't 
fucking perform and don't fight for the badge, which is what Hibs fans want to see. And I do feel bad for the Hibs fans uh, to go to Ibrox and watch that heap of crap and pay 30 odd quid, which is actually robbing that because then it's going to be 30 quid for the bloody Celtic v Hibs at Easter Road. Robin bastards. And then if Hibs didn't perform again, what next? What next? Hibs fans, what next? What next? If we didn't perform on Saturday? I just don't know. I really don't know. I'm lost for words now. I don't know how we're going to recover for this defeat, but I'd like to see how he gets the team Together, I know Celtic will be competing in Champions League, but that's not going to really make a difference. Oh, Celtic will be tired, it'll be a much more easier game because they'll put their stronger squad on for the Champions League against Atletico Madrid. Doesn't it fucking matter? Hibs need to perform. Who gives a fuck? Seriously. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Make sure to like, share and subscribe and... I will catch you guys in the very next video. And uh, it has been me, Jack C. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.